Hello friends, welcome to the video tutorial of link and in this video we are going to study extension method. Actually we are studying the link specific programming construct. In previous two videos we saw what is anonymous type and we saw what is implicitly type local variable and this video will give you a clear idea about extension method. So let us see what is it. So extension method allows us to add new methods or properties to our class or structure without modifying the original type in any direct manner. Okay, what is the meaning of this? See, basically as the name suggests, extension method. This extension method basically extends the functionality of your class. See, in object oriented programming, extend word is used for inheritance purpose okay means you are extending any particular class okay so similarly with the help of extension method we are extending the functionality of a class but without modifying the original type in any direct manner so let us understand it in more better way now let us assume that you have an existing class for time being considered that we have string class right it is ready-made class available in C okay now suppose I said you to add new function to this class okay now if you observe the functions of string there is no word count function word count function is not there okay so what I want to do I want to add this function to my string class can you add this definitely no why because actually this class definition is not available to you you cannot write a code in that class so what you can do you can inherit one more class from this let us call it as my string okay what what option we chose we inherit from string class okay we inherit from string class and then here we will add word count functionality we will add word count function okay that is one more way that is one of the way to extend the functionality of a class okay definitely it is very right suppose you want to add any extra functionality to your class and you do not have a original class definition so what you can do you can inherit that class and you can add that functionality okay but what is the drawback of this method basically you have to maintain two classes okay the original class and as well as inheritance inherited class and as we know the maintenance is very tough in a software okay now let us see one more scenario where there might be a problem now we all of we know that there is a concept of sealed class in C sharp. There is a concept of sealed class in C sharp. Now what is the meaning of sealed class? Sealed class means you cannot inherit. You cannot inherit. Means suppose a particular class is sealed we cannot inherit that class and we cannot add our extra functionality so definitely this option that we choose here it is of no use again if you are using structure okay and we know that structures are not inheritable so again you cannot extend the functionality of a structure now what is the solution for this the solution for this is an extension method A solution for this is what an extension method so what this extension method does it allows you to add an extra functionality without changing the original class okay i hope you understand the purpose of extension method where we can use it we do not have original class definition so we cannot go there and type our new function and then we can then we will compile it the another solution is that we can inherit that class but again in that case we have to maintain two two classes the original class and the 
inherited class again there might be a possibility that if we choose the inheritance option our class might be sealed in that case i cannot inherit similarly if i am using a structure and again i want to extend its functionality structures are not inheritable okay that's why we are going to use extension method now what is the relation of this extension method with link in introductory video i told you that all the functions in link api are are what extension methods in enumerable and queryable static class okay all the methods of link api are a extension method of enumerable and queryable static class okay so remember this thing that's why we are studying the extension method basically while studying link we are going to use this extension methods only we are not going to create our own extension method but just to understand the concept of extension method i am going to cover this part now let us see how to create a extension method in c sharp basically when you define an extension method the first restriction is that you must define it within a static class okay your class should be what static and and if your class is static definitely all the methods inside it should be what static everything will be static so your extension method should be what static the second point is that the first parameter of the extension method must be of the type for which the extension method is applicable and it should be preceded by this keyword okay so as i told you the first restriction is that it should be defined within a static class your extension method should be static and the first parameter of your extension method is nothing but a data type or a type or a class that you are extending and again it should be preceded by this keyword okay it should be preceded by the this keyword so let us understand this concept practically so here i am using the same application same console application that we created while studying the anonymous type and var keyword or implicitly type local variable so here as you can see i created one class also okay i i name it as my string basically you can you can name it anything since i am going to uh, extend the functionality of a string class that's why i name it as my string okay now according to the first rule of extension method your class should be what your class should be static now what is the second rule the whatever extension method you are going to add it should be also static obviously static class contain static methods only so let me create one method so public static here we are going to count the number of words in our string so it is going to return integer type of data let us name our method as word count okay so what is the second restriction the first parameter of your extension method should be of type which you are inheriting okay so we are inheriting string class or we are inheriting string type so my first parameter should be of type string and again it should use this modifier so this then string and then after i have to specify the argument okay now basically i i want to count the number of words in this str string so first of all what i have to do i have to uh, split my string on a spaces okay then only i can count the words basically space, uh, words are determined by the spaces right so there is ready made method of a string that is split okay so we are going to split it by spaces so let me specify the space character as you can see the argument to this split method are param arguments okay means you can pass parameter array of type character means you can pass n number of characters so i just want to split it on the space so i will just pass the space okay now what it gives me it will gives me string array it will gives me what string array so let us collect it 
string str array is equal to str dot split split on a space. Now to count the number of words, what we have to do? We have to take a length of this array, which is nothing but the total number of words in my string. So here I'll directly say return str array dot length. Okay. Now let us test this part. Now what will I do? Uh, below this class, I'll just create one more class. Let me call it as test extension method. Okay. Now in this class, I'm going to create one main method. Okay. Now here, let me create one string variable, say str. Okay. And let me assign something to it say hello world that means there are two words right now here I'll say str dot look at here this word count method get added okay and if you look at the symbol see the normal methods symbol is different whereas the extension method symbol is different there is one arrow pointing downwards to it okay so this extension method get available to us okay what i told you we can use this extension method with a object okay basically we created this method in my string class but we are using it with string class object that means we extended the functionality of an existing class I hope you got this okay now let us check the output also actually we are not interested in output just on the functionality before this there was no word count function I remember this thing means if I comment this part let me comment this part so now see it will show you an error string does not contain a definition for word count and no extension method word count is accepting first argument of type string means in string class also there is no extension method and even there is, sorry in string class also there is no word count method and even there is no extension method defined in any class which first argument is string i hope you understand this okay so it is a big advantage of extension method right means we are defining it in another class and plus we are using it with a normal class on which we are extending it so let us execute it and let us check the output so let me set a startup project so it will be test extension method okay only those class will appear which has a main method and let me press a control f5 okay run without debugging okay what is the mistake i did i i didn't say console dot right line right so let me say console dot right line l now let us again run this see two so there are exactly two words in our string so my purpose is not to show you the output i just want to explain you the functionality of a extension method okay so basically extension methods extends the functionality of your existing class but not defining that code inside that class or not defining or not inheriting that class okay we totally use a different approach we created one static class and in one that static class we created one static method and the first argument of that static method is the class or is the type that you, that we want to extend and we have to use this modifier also okay so i hope you enjoy this and in next video we are going to see one more link specific programming construct thank you